Hello watchers and hello subscribers. Welcome to 36 Ruby tutorial. This is Shrix from Smart Herd. In this tutorial, I am going to teach you about two dimensional array or multi dimensional array. Now, first of all, what is a multi dimensional array? Similar to the 1D array, the multi dimensional arrays are also heterogeneous. That is, it can contain mixture of data types. As for example, let us define our array name as multi underscore array. This multi underscore array, it, it is having two rows and four columns. In each row, you can see it is having various data types like integer, float, then string, then string like this. So it is heterogeneous in nature. Now let's come to a second property like 1D array also, it is also indexed. Now let's see how it is indexed here. The first row is index is 0 and the second row its index is 1. Now let's come about columns. The columns are indexed as 0, 1, 2, 3 and so on like this. So always in 1D or 2D array the index always start with 0 and it moves on like this. So the multi array subscript 0, 2 indicates the value shakes that is 0, comma 2 0 and 2 this is indicating pointing to this shrix value now this 1 comma 1 1 and 1 this is indicating to what this 4.7 which is floating point value now let's move forward now how to create a 2d array let us define a 1d array data equal to array dot new this in the bracket i am having value 2 which means we have created an 1d array with two blank spaces now let us write data 0 this white space indicates data subscript 0 if you are thorough with your 1d array concept guys this white space has the index data subscript 0 and this second one has the index data subscript 1 now let us fill this white space with another 1d array so here i have written one statement array dot new bracket 2 comma hello if you remember guys from 1d array this statement array dot new blah 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 this is going to create a 1d array with two blank spaces and those blank spaces contains the value hello so hello comma hello is filling the space of data 0 so this single space is containing what two hello values let us fill the second y space by creating another statement by writing another statement like this array dot new two comma world so this statement will create an 1d array of two white spaces containing the value world and these two world values are filling the white space of data one if you're not getting it guys things will be more clear now just wait and watch now let's see how the things are going on now when this statement is executed we create two blank spaces so in order to fill this we have to write these two lines of codes now when this line is executed so the first blank space this one is filled by hello comma hello this is a 1d array now when this line is executed so the second space is again filled with a one, another 1d array like this world comma world so this is the data 0 and this is the data 1 which means data 0 is the 0th row which is filled by this 1d array and data 1 is the first row which is filled by this 1d array now this seemed to be little complicated but it's quite easy now let us see another simple way to create a 2d array like this we just have to define the array initialize the array like this multi array equal to subscript then within this we are having four rows and each row is having 1d array like this 1 2 3 4 first row the second row 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 then 13 14 15 16 so this creates our 2d array with four rows and four columns like this now the question arises how to access these elements and how to print these values using the iteration now let's check it out using the aptana studio let's come to our coding part guys of the 2d array here i have initialized the cells 2d array it is having two rows and five columns like this 
this is the first row till here then after that this is the second row now if you're not getting it guys what for discussion presentation and right now let's just hit enter to make it familiar with you what we're doing here yes yes now it is a first row and it is a second row its index is 0 and it is its index is 1 like that now let us print a value from the 2d array let's say this one h it belongs to first row and 0 1 2 2th column like this so let's write the codes put as cells subscript 1 subscript 2 let's save it and execute it yes we are getting the output h in this way we are printing the value of the data inside the cells now let us print all the values inside the cells 2d array how to do that we have to use the loops in that case let us use cells dot each then do then bar within bar we have to write our variable let's say row then again here we have to define another loop so row dot each I will explain the loop guys what why why and what I'm doing here then within this another variable let's say this time column and now let's write the codes to print the values let's write I think print print space call plus now one thing to note here guys here the things are characters elements are characters so we are printing the call that is all the values are getting inside the call so here the format is of string format so here we have to convert it into what to a string two underscore s now let's save it and execute it yeah here we go a b c d e f g h i j like that if you want to print the values row wise just write put s here yes put s now save it and execute it here we go a b c d e f g h i j two rows and five columns like this two rows and five columns now let me explain you guys what i have done in this loop this cells dot each do row now this iteration will go for only two times in the first iteration the row value will be zero so for zero row, we are accessing each element in the second row so and this loop will be executed 10 times for row value 0 it will be executed 5 times so 0 0 0 0 1 0 2 0 3 and 0 4 now when row value becomes 1 then this loop will be executed again 5 times 1 0 1 1 1 2 1 3 and 1 4 so each time this row is getting executed suppose the value of row is 0 and the value of column is 0 so this 00, zero element that is a is getting saved in col variable so finally we are printing print this variable and converting into a string then we are getting the output like this now let me show you the shortcut to print these values like this let's say let's delete all these things let's just write put s row dot join there's a join function which i will discuss you later on in the string now let's save it and execute it see we are again getting the output like this why just because when this row is zero then zero dot join then within the bracket we are having the single code and within the single code we are having a comma so this function is joining all the elements of the row 0 and printing it by joining it with a comma now when row value becomes 1 then again the first row it is joining all the elements and printing it like this with the help of comma by joining them with the comma so pretty easy guys nothing very tough so catch you guys in next tutorial and stay tuned and please don't forget to subscribe this is Shrakes signing off.